Here we go. Hold on. Hello, there we go. I'm sorry, last year on to party of blood. Because for some reason this shit was not working. A minute ago. Just... Oh, mm. 
so oh uh, one he was looking at think of this shit gray That's so tangled in there. There you go. Still good. Yeah, we're still good. Get rid of down that volume for a sec there. Single plate thing was in that slot. Oh, so great. Okay, let's do this, I guess. I'm not going to lie, I'm just going to straight up just... Just going to cheat. Use this.
I don't fucking care. I'm just. No judgment, man. I'm just fucking afraid of this damn game. I am fucking afraid. It's the most I've ever heard of in my life. Great game. I just I hate being on the camp just. Don't judge if I cheesed it a little bit. I know I could have like tuned that old live stream like for about it's like a couple of minutes it's like raving through but I don't blame it. Pretty much horror. I've been trying to get better at horror though. Safe, I don't know. That fucking hurt. <laughs> That's a heart. on reaching the end of our demo. We're happy to see you're engaging with our work. We're showing only this for reason. The world we're seeing all kinds of capabilities. Everyone knows. That's a camp. Two exciting games set to release in 1997. I now present. Like a jump scare waiting to happen. Okay. What if we don't? Nope. Come on. Hey. I ran into a monster earlier today and it was right outside the park. A statue put together using chunks of wood and cloth. I saw it, then I saw it move. Oh, what the fuck is that? Hello. Okay. Oh, it's huge. I thought I was the only one rotting down here. <laughs> so much is out here. So much. Oh, beyond your understanding. They call out to me. All four of them. I hear their voices skittering around in the inside of my wooden shell. Even down to the pulsating mass laying beneath it. I need you to find me. I won't be easy to catch. You'll need to prove to me that you want what I have. If you do as I ask, you'll know everything. Every single detail of what happened. Why you are who you are. What do you say, friend? Let's give it a go. Okay. And shit. If I touch you, find me. Hmm. 
Not the wallers. This one, but oh, this would be the end, but no, it's not the end. I don't do so anymore. I don't just. I would have really bad at them for them both and open your heart. Stay out of the way. I just really want to stop and just like I just really want to stop and just not do this man I don't want to do this I just want to, I don't want to do this man Just... 
know they're gonna give you this man. I think that they're gonna give you this. I'm too afraid. Okay. Scared. Uh, I just need to breathe them in. That is. This game's too intense for me. I just need to. It is like too I don't play horror usually if that I do, but like I don't I really don't know. Just I really want to just skip past all this into the ending because, like, I'm way too afraid of that. To be honest with you, I'm just way, way too afraid of that entire thing. I don't really think of it strength that you do that. Really know what to do. I'm going to be opposite here, man. I just, it feels like I'm having heart's like beating way too much. I'm just, I'm way too afraid of that entire se sequence. I know I might seem like a coward, but I just don't want to do that. I just don't want to do that. Yes, okay. Hey, look, man, I, how about this? Unsubscribe, dislike the video, and unrecommend my channel. That's. I know I'm being sim similar to a cow right now, but I. I know what I'm going to right now. Or maybe I can try to trick myself up. Let's... How do I know? Or maybe it's in the account. 
calm down and just think, think my thoughts over. Maybe that's it. Shoot. Let me just think things through. Yeah. I know you're probably thinking me for that. I know a lot of people can watch the live stream and probably just like the video. I know my limitations, I'm way too afraid of the entire thing. I he was beating way too much. I'm so I'm gonna be a cheap bastard and just I'll skip it. Maybe I shouldn't it's just like I see, so I can't deal with the entire sequence right now.
And we're just gonna fix this shit because I'm not I'm be honest right here, I'd be too afraid of this. Someday in the future, I'll try again, but like, I'm too afraid of that. So, hey, I'm too afraid of that. Check out Fox Play, because we'll watch this footage instead of our footage. Hello. So I'm going to have a bit of a dilemma here, and this factor is just that I am way too afraid of the ending to actually get it. So would any of you all be mad if I just watched the ending from YouTube, because I am way too afraid of that? So if we got to the Hux thing, right, I'm just... My, my heart beat a little too fast, I'm like, I can't do this anymore, man, I just can't. Thank you. I don't know why though, it's just the most intense I've ever seen. The Starlings are something else, man. Just. Okay, yeah, I got to the Husk thing. Like I said beforehand, I achieved out on the uh, Code Breaker thing. Not because I. Not because it just went like I skipped the buttons. No. No, actually, I actually got very close to the Code Breaker thing. I was just only like one step away from getting the website. But Rex had just to say hello. And just glitch in the ground, I mean, I have to fucking be stuck the entire time thing, or at least with a point. Now, one thing I hate, by the way, is the fact that the hard thing just is fucking hiding all of the text. But yeah, so yeah, I didn't really miss too much. Anyway, I'll put this. So yeah. Give Fox Play some love. Oh, I do know there's some few more secrets here in life. Looks for me that there's still stuff left over. Yeah, okay, this is. Shall receive. Let's take a look at the little mess you've made. Yeah, so over here, I like it. Connor, look, I'm gonna be honest with you. I've been playing this for about two hours now. And I'm not seeing the widespread appeal you've been promising us. It's, well, to be honest with you, it's clunky. I don't know what I'm doing. The characters who you promised would have depth and life. They are just flat. I thought that's the entire point of a 3D game. What? You oversold it, Connor. That's what I'm trying to say. The company is meant to be forging new frontiers. And, to be frank, after what happened at Studio Grounds, I really don't think this is going to be anything. It's not going to be anything in the same tier as our movies, our park, anything. And I really hate to say this, because I know for a fact you and your team put a lot of work into this game, but I just, I just don't know if it's worth continuing to sink money into. Sink money into? Mark, this is our job. You've had us working on this for two years, and now suddenly it's an issue? Yes, it's been two years. And in those two years, you've only sat me down now and showed me the actual fucking game. So... What can we do to fix it? No, Liz. This isn't a fix the game issue. It's a fix your perspective issue, Mark. You are sitting in front of some of the greatest technology of the decade, and you're gonna brush it off? Connor, I'm not brushing anything off. I'm just trying to understand where this- I'm sorry to say, Mark, but it's true. It's not that we've made a bad game. We've all exceeded the industry standard. What we're having a hard time passing is your thick skull and- Connor! 
Stop. Look, I'm so sorry about him. He's just under a lot of... Is it Harley? Is it not worth it anymore because you're trying to treat her instead? What? Yeah, I said it. What are you bringing her into this for? Because I bet that's what you're gonna do. You can't keep funding our two years' worth of work. Gotta buy her a fancy casket. <laughs> Unbelievable. Mark, look, I... I'm really sorry. Now, lately, it's you're fine, okay? But I want you to know that we are done, professionally. All right? I don't want to work with any of you guys again. Quite frankly, I don't want to see you guys touch a property. Any of that. Am I clear? Y yes mark you can go now no no because first of all i want our equipment back you can go now you can go leave take a step closer lay a fucking hand on me you lay one hand on me i'm gonna make sure you stay in jail for a real long fucking time huh who are they gonna believe you you are nothing i will be taking my leave now Good luck in your future endeavors. I expect the office to be cleared by next week. Do not contact me again. Hold on, be right back. I don't really know the storyline behind all this, but yeah, no, Connor seems to be it. I guess. Is he? Is he like mock the. Is he like Mark is like a bit prideful, but he just go. But I totally, totally get it. If you sunk a shit ton of money into something. But Connor is just, you know, seems to be just like a dickhead too. Oh, jump. Come on, you can do this. Don't jump. I didn't really know you have to jump, don't you? Thank you. So Mark is the creator of Okay, we should create a Rex. Someone's house. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so Mark is just the CEO, he's not the creator of Bucky. The creator of Bucky's been dead for quite a while now, I guess.
Okay, that's neat. Honor of Connor Toms. Always there for us as a dad. As a boss, I love you today. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. Today, I lost you. You have to bring the work back in. Back to Thomas. Okay, this is made by. This is made by someone's son. I guess that's my son. I doesn't even get it. Even in a non disturbed way, that looks creepy. Why is the soundtrack going to be good? Okay, just so I can understand the storyline, Brandon killed basically like Olivia and the person who did Brindella, whatever the fuck his name is, just for some kind of reason. Mark also basically, yeah, Mark basically just said, no, I don't want this type of thing, and like took away the company's funding, Cobbler's funding. Oh, because you might have not really known how hard it is to make a video game, how much work that takes. And for and for what it seems like the person, the blot person within the game, might have been someone who kind of like. I should really play Resident Evil. That, that's like one of the game series I should really play. It's like, I'm over here all like, some game series I'm like, I don't even play this, but I just don't have time for it, or don't really put time aside for it. Not a lot of games. I may have played the original Mayo Face segment, who really knows. So, I like these starlings. Are they like a live creature, or, or are they just creatures who just seem somewhat not much alive, much more, uh, there, I guess. Because when I heard, it's like, the blot was the original creator of the, like, a, of Bucky and stuff like that. And my been studios, like, attempt to bring him back to life, I think. Anything else that's just a hurt. Yeah, I see. It's like Patrick was the one who were who was able to basically let this entire thing spread out and tell everyone about this entire thing. That type of way to basically take revenge on his dad and stuff like that being fucked over like that. Yeah, and he just get a little bit insane. Same storyline, but that's uh, uh, that's because I didn't put the bridge together. Blame me, not, not the story. Let's see. If I'm gonna get from timeline sense of this, this Rex was made, Bucker was made, person. 
add at some point. Mark hired Cogware in order to make. And me. Or if we make if we make a video game about Bucky, then and they then Mark basically pulled the project, Connor went insane for some reason. And I don't know if it Brendan was the one who killed them all. Well I'm pretty sure he was the one who killed them all, then like basically it was just like you said, just put a bunch of flesh inside of the suits. And somehow that managed to get inside of the game? Maybe? Or maybe it was never sold as that the thing is said it's just spiritually like that. I don't know. Ah, got it. Yeah, I've heard putting suits inside of, uh, body inside suits are totally a good idea, guys. Congratulations, you made zombies. Congrats. So this was an entire type of way for Patrick to basically expose the entire company and how all that fucked up shit. So was like Brandon like uh was he fooling enough to kill or was he just like a victim I guess because from the sounds of it it sounds like I don't know if how much free will he actually had it sounds like Yeah, maybe. I am trying my little investifying a bit. Let me go. Is this mm, lovely? I love it. Yeah, it seems like Connor was also a good big pack. I know Mark this also seemed like a jerk. I'm just saying I feel bad for Olivia. Also, oh.
kind of just Problem. Yeah, overall, it just felt like a nice little thing. I don't really need to have our storyline because we'll put together. I think I'll find some kind of like. Maybe I'll just find some kind of like a thing online that helps me explain helps explain it. Wow. Of course, somewhere. I could totally believe the entire evade by ghosts, I think. I'm not sure, sure if it's ghosts or just like a weird thing. I feel like it is some kind of like paranormal connection. Because I love how glitchy they are. Also, I love the glitch effects, they are really cool. You know, I really like how much it just really just goes beyond just normal for normal for fourth wall. That's what fourth wall stuff. And for some reason, I cannot find that little video you know, that's spliced together somehow. So it seems like Chief Wolf and Stumbler were just not much connected to the entire other thing. It seems like. It's intriguing for that. It simply seems to have a place. He doesn't really seem like he belongs in a little area. I don't think so. I did, I think I saw a meme somewhere that like talking about like Connor having a self insert. Oh my goodness, he's a furry. I mean, me too, and I have just a horrible memory. Okay. Gallery. Gallery. I have a gallery, please. Apparently not. Oh, I love that man. Man, 
I imagine so. Yeah. really great game it just like feels like it knew us how to do ARG analog stuff really good like it simply just went past beyond just normal good old I don't know why though but it's like like I'm, it's like a, I always see those game ARGs like Peskov and Pro 64 even it's like a type of thing where you're like you're not very much the detective you're the person who goes to pieces from the detective this one, it feels like you're the actual detective figuring this stuff out. I guess that's my first opinion on the entire thing. Over the youngsters to do it. I'd be a chance older than him, apparently. Because if he turns 19 this year, we are, we are basically the same age, that is. That actually is kind of difference. Like when I learned King Pixels was like 15 years old, and I'm like, oh. Yeah, the youngsters are really good. Ain't this old 30 year old, 40 year olds doing good stuff? 18 year olds. How oh, I thought I was like 22 or 24. I knew he was like young, I just. It seems like. You know, probably. He seems like he grows this type of stuff. I don't know. Whatever. whatever. Okay, so I was missing only that. Looks. It was actually his house. Because it seems like they were talking about him moving around outside the studio. And the person who made the back room seems like a. Uh, this dude. Yeah, that dude. Oh, you, yeah. It's okay. Seems like Husky is like a creature outside of the uh, world. See, so it seems like it talks about how he moves around outside. So I'm making a backwards movie, apparently, by age 24. That's cool. Lucky Beaver, all of Otter, Gnevanto Luz, Motowawas, Sumblo O'Hare with the Pug, Brandon, Gary, Olivia, Nathan, Handel, Watsatch Rex, The Husk.
Okay, I think maybe I can try to find those instead of just watching that video. Same reason why I don't duck has some stuff. Assuming this doesn't just boot me back into the scary stuff. And if it does, well, mm -hmm. that shit. I ain't doing the scary stuff. After so. I don't think. But hey, I don't want to just drive, just steal some footage. Stumbler. Always oh, a little rat bastard, ain't he? Oh, Bucky seems like a dude that have just a lot of PTSD. Hey, everyone! I need your help! I'm not a drawing. It's why. I would probably rather do blunders or anything else. It seems a little easier. I think I can do good at drawing. I just everything's my talent, I guess you could say. I could probably. I could probably sit down with a couple of children and draw a little bit. Oh my goodness, but can we get it? You talk. Cool. You exist. Still wondering what this giant tower is of death. Slap the shit out of dude. No, good luck on that one. Shouldn't go through maybe so maybe it's locked on a certain time actually. Oh well. I do know this I know there's a secret out there somewhere. Chief Wolf. You know, sometimes people just forget about shit. But I just kind of fucked up, I guess. Do know that there is a secret in this area. Yeah, here's a fun little fact for you. If you actually look back in like one of those like the dining room areas, map app. My pad actually caught this, but if you actually look around one of the dining areas, there's actually a Stumbler's arm, or not arm, but his, I guess his arm, I guess, on one of the plates. To me, is beautiful. Maybe I need to like grab the rest of the stuff. I don't know why it's down there. I mean, just to go back. Maybe 
maybe I need to uh, lose once and get the mirror, maybe? Because I know there's a secret over there. I'm pretty sure I didn't get the wrong one. Yeah, that's it. I know there's a secret over there. It would be hilarious so I just straight up just had the wrong version. I know something over there. Oh wait. Chancing, maybe? I don't really know. Hmm. I'm trying to find. Oh. Well, I can't enter that little area. Some of the coconuts? Here we go. There we go. I don't think they did. Thoughts up. Head empty. No thoughts, just fever. There's uh, somebody on the my faces very well. Connor. Actually, in the Steam thing, it's um, four seven four two. I need that code four seven four two. That's the wrong one. Four seven four two. Four seven four two. 
Oh, damn. I was wrong. Oh, it's like this. Is it? Okay. There's no one via. Okay. Is that the name? Oh shit, yeah, I should. to casually just break the time lines basic to him. So my guess is I was actually doing it wrong, maybe like act means something else. That could be it. Hey, I'm so proud of myself. I suppose in case you really need to just write your head into something, I guess. Yeah, fuck his friends never really asked about the giant tables. The chief will be up there. Well unlocked it? No, it's not unlocked. I really unlock a wall. Third thing up. Seeing a lot of stuff. The dude's got some pops. Thank you, mysterious user. You found a secret. Yay. Oh, 
I don't see if anything's like. See if the secrets are actually neat. Hey, everyone! <laughs> I need your help! Step into the 3D realm with me. I think it's good. Right. Maybe just something else, like in the 2023 version. But this game is like really cool. I don't think that was meant to happen. Did I break it? I don't think that's not how that works. It's in the corner. Why I break it? Okay, cool. Oh, try again. I break it? I stop when that it just teleported like to the fucking map over there. Brandon was actually meant to put a put a pop ups in your little thing. But I don't think I've got them because I've never really selected inside the game. A bit of layers to me. That would be guess. But I guess we're not crossing that. Hey everyone, I need your help. Step into the three D realm with Bucky and his friend. It starts in the same way, it's so much to hang. Yeah. I don't really, I don't really care how much of a budget left over. You, you do the budget of 15 cents. Uh, my entire audio equipment is. Whoa. I, I jump. Hi. Oh, just something over there. I know it. Can't hide me. It can't hide from me. Come here. Come on. Let me in. Maybe I need to lose. Always oh, come here. Always oh, come here. No, I don't think that's it. Maybe it's just only 1997 version. That could be it. That could be it. That's probably it. Ooh. 
Oops, I did. It's very impressive how long this game was like development for. I don't know how long it was like. It is like a fully like full on professional type of game. Yeah. It's not the type of game you see on like store shelves or anything like that. I guess uh, I don't really think that's even possible for this type of game. I read them things. It's a good amount of gameplay, this entire thing. I love like secrets that I find. I guess we'll pull on here, G. find a way to get pop-ups into the console. Under us under some companies. I didn't. There's a, there's a glitch, I don't know. Okay, friend. Maybe it's a glitch, maybe it's just like a secret thing, I don't know. That's very unbroken. Surely take out the Walton files because the first one fairly came out yesterday. Um, I've been needing to look into that one. I'll show Angel here. A lot of games are like games, but I think you should really take it like that. If I die right there, I have a funny degree. I'm curious how exactly in the future they'll make. Now, stuff like this is really creative. Just like yeah, yeah. it feels like a thing like this could really. Uh, Like, you know, expand into like an even longer game if they wanted to. Like, this. Pretty cool. Hold on, I think there's a possible connected to
Okay, so there is something in cheap level. You didn't tell me this before you, I guess. I thought that was the biggest part of the game, but nope. It was not. It was about the most normal part of the entire game, actually. No, no, ironically, ironically, this could actually be a good way of trying to set people up for the thing. I know it's a secret around here somewhere. Where are you? Take your time. And as I said, Somewhere around here. Nope, it's only a 1997 version. Got it. Cool. So let's see what's that 
There's probably some kind of secret thing behind the entire voice at line thing. I got you for the video, it was actually the, it was actually the steps of the I did feel like Holmes was the type of dude to be like, oh man, secret evil entity, but nope, it's just a random dude. Like, you like Holmes not even part of the actual game. He's there. It's like me at a party, it's just like, yeah, maybe he's there, don't worry about him. Kind of a weird way. It's kind of like a test, or like a practice run for starlings, I guess, in a way. Kind of. See, I think all the secrets I'm looking for are only in the 1997 version. Probably. But we, oh, we didn't get the good ending yet, so. We'll take that. actually because I didn't get that one I was unsure if the 2023 version had more secrets but it seems like it doesn't so we're just gonna get right with the good ending and then we'll just go back to the other one yeah. okay, I also wish the splice video had a full version somewhere but it seems like it doesn't Oh, so fun.
Hey, looks like a very lovely beach right there. Right there too.
they did. Thank you. Leave the island and come back. Let them all die. Let's uh, let them all die, I guess. They did kidnap us, so yeah. Alright, I'll just see you. This road smells boat. Weirdest hug existence. Was it though? Was it? Like you basically massacred a lot. I mean, like you basically would have like killed us, killed all of us. Hey, was that about? I miss it. But I guess not. Should be some secrets in the 1997 version. So by the way, I finally got some good old Dead by Daylight. So probably be live streaming that maybe tomorrow. Hey, everyone! I need your help. Well, that would probably be the shorter live stream since there's people coming over tomorrow. That's me. Watch it, but whatever. I wonder forward, I guess. need to do is just buy the alley LC thing. Maybe I can set up a little private thing and play together with I don't know. Or maybe I can play together bots. We shall see. Hopefully if it works because you know it's cross compatible I'm pretty sure. Yeah. But yeah no the uh, thing does probably take a lot of data. Call warfare warzone apparently because that apparently that actually takes a bit time later. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's 
guess you can just go to be connected to this entire thing somehow. Theory is that if I unlock the mirror, then I'll be able to maybe it's a secret, but that's not unlocked. I guess that's still locked. Maybe it's like, well, there actually, that could be it actually. Would be still the wrong area. We're actually in the era of like Chromor era G type of horror stuff, I guess you could say. It definitely does seem like Analog Core has influenced all the things that we do from our ARG base, I guess. I don't remember what you're talking about. Because this type is so spooky. It's like really, really impressive. I'm always curious about exactly, like what if FNAF was like, like this? I know it's a weird thing to bring up. Like I always compare FNAF to a like, type of energy type of thing, but like... Like I'm always curious on what if FNAF was like, exactly like this? I guess I forget like the time... I should be like a game like that, like, not like this, but like a FNAF fan game like that. I know it's a hot topic, but still though. I like the entire idea behind that. You know, it takes, I see those take notes, that's really cool. Really, really cool. What's up? No one's been acting right. No one around has been acting right lately. I took her to the hospital. And I walked out on my own. And they said that she was going to be there for a while. Quickly the first. Around to that, is, is the husk dead? I like the fact that it's like, I like that it's like a big old puzzle like that. Carry someone's like this to Albert has next. Next moved. There's a lot of games I'm excited for this year and a lot of movies. 
I think the thing I'm excited for most right now is like things like Fade in the Cage and also FNAF and the Pit. Those are two things I've been excited for. There we go, finally. There we go. Because I've been loving the Bendy games for a while now. And I'm kind of so curious on exactly the end of the pit game would be like. It looks like very much a pixel like type of game. It looks very much different from what we were used to in FNAF, I guess. Ooh, neat. I think I remember him right now. It's like. It's like the. I think I remember his artwork, I think. Oh, shit, sorry. I like their opera. There's another artist, I think his name was Squiggle, I think, that. Uh, actually, no, I, damn, I forgot. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Henry always reminds me of Stanford. From uh, Gravity Falls. I think I should someday play Bioshock, actually, because even if it's only by myself, it'll be. I've heard the game is fun. I like both the game and any bit of a massive version. I might actually play that. He is seven years old. That is. Oh. Unfortunately for me, though, I've only I've been spoiled on the twist in the first one, which is oh so sad. But yeah, and to me, I think you still enjoy a game if you're not spoiled on the twi big twist behind it all. But I think I love this is the experience of it all. Sad, but it's life. Yeah, Sith. Yeah, exactly. It's like when I get spoiled on a movie, I'm like, well, I can still enjoy it. <laughs> I don't know if I ever said beforehand, but... I think before Super Mando, I enjoyed the Dog Revival storyline so much more than the... I know it's a weird thing to compare, but I enjoyed Dog Revival much more than Security Breach. I don't really think you can really compare the two, since they're very much very different type of things. But they both feel like... Same idea there, of two things that took a long time to make. But it feels like the storyline Dog Revival tried to be a storyline, while FNAF tried to be a history. I know I always talk about this, but like, still though. Like, the thing that's back in my mind, I guess. I also love, like, Beast Bendy. I just love Bendy's little art style. Right. 
Because I mean, I think like Bendy, that's like the really big attraction of Bendy is the really creative art style. I'm, I'm still impressed by how much like of an upgrade the style was. Okay, for it, it looks like a pretty good like top style, but the second one looks like it has far more depth to it all. <laughs> I got disconnected wood. What? It was computer? Red? Oh. Damn color code all over again. There's a notebook at. Damn color code all over again. Red. It's blue, it's red. Wow. It was blue, red, green, green. I should do it. I was doing the entire thing. It was three eight eight nine. nine, 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 nine. how extra package it is because like Steph just like releasing out all the stuff online he tried to just make an entire game about it. Yes. Green. It's blue. Red. Green green. There we go. I'd like to see a video about the Go ahead and just switch this thing off because I can't pause it. It might, it might still work. It's been on the fresh for some reason. I don't know why. I think it just need new batteries. Speaking like that, though, it doesn't seem. Mm -mm. I'm curious on who like Stumbler and Chief Wolf is, because sorry, man. Did you use something? Um,
Christ, I just... Connor, what the fuck? I mean, not Connor, but uh, Mark, what the fuck? Mark, Mark, that's the name, Mark, sorry. Actually, actually both of them, actually, they're, they're both of them. Connor and Mark. I get Connor wants to make it the game, Mark with the CEO. I was getting the few names up here. I don't feel bad for Connor at all now. I feel bad for the victims and stuff like that. Brandon. Yeah, Brandon was a good person. I know Mark's entire company basically have like, basically have just buried a bunch of corpses. I must say, I really do not feel bad for So, I saw this double would be a she, I guess. Right. This number is based off the wife, I guess. That's what it is. It seems like Liz was actually just actually the person who just wanted to do a job, right? It seemed like Connor was just like a fucking wife of a jackass. And Mark was just like other jackass, I guess. Congratulations, so we're just gonna you know, like for this man. This one is Dumbler. Took care of sound like Chief Wolf and JD, I guess. I don't know much about that type of stuff, but I just seem like this is. There's my boy or girl. I don't know. Might be a person. Flesh. Yeah, it does make sense. He probably worked hell hard on this kind of thing. Probably needs like a long break and just, you know, do small stuff.
pay huh? Still curious on how it's actually supposed to get them to come I think. Yeah, that was the place he's spooky. That's a video. Get down. That was a video. Oops. See if you can skip the entire uh, jump scare thing, huh? It's like, yeah, no, thank you. Maybe some locked it. Damn it. Fuck. I can skip it. Confuses you. Oh, so this dude knows a freaking good jump scare. It says it's a deep book zone, but I don't really know how to get there. Looking up for secrets. Oh, there's at least a long time ago, apparently.
Okay, so there is a bug limit for time. Did you make any door? Failing force. I wish there was more discussion discussion because I don't really know how to do all this stuff. Maybe it's on the website actually. There's a website called Cogwares slash debug room. So, yeah, I'm gonna open up that up, see if there's anything useful there. because it's just straight up just loading. Yeah, it's taking a while though. It is. Why is it loading so slow? Oh, we we'll here. We'll be right here. I saw my head is way too much freaking things. There we go. I think it should take as far as it load, right? Oh, there we go. Can I? No. Okay, that makes sense. All right. Perfect. I might have to click the key. Where's actually, where's my. I should probably grab my other keyboard. I was pretty sure that's because now it's like a fake Justin yet. It's like a thing where the mining ain't right just yet. I don't know. Really impressive how. Oh, this was made. Stuff I'm pretty sure no one would found. Although, then again, yeah, apparently this was released beforehand. That's So this was also a programmer. Sure. 
should be doing. Hello, we are not available now. Please leave your name and phone number after the beep. We will return your call. We showed up at the door again. Not I don't know what to do. Something about us and Bruce. There's step There's jump. I wonder if you trees are gonna make a push to these. That'd be cool. This? Thing, guess. Oops. Again, that was not really meant to be too much of a detail type of thing, I guess. There's a dead room. Yes. 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 I think one VR. I think I really want to do a simple VR games actually. It's sort of fun to actually do a live stream of. Yes, man. As oh no. Spooky shit. It's a spook shit. I actually can't wait for my can we say some more Slenderman again? Either a VR or a new chapter. That'd be cool. I should be close to that game much right now. Long game apparently, or at least weird game. No, no, it's not the first time. Like, uh, yeah, I can't find it. But, you know, I think I get what you mean. Like, whenever you just, like, put the guys, like, ooh. It's really... 
I can also wait on play Dead Space. Yeah, it's like they do re respond to like cause of how to just pet you. Cats. I just heard that duck and cover song so it's gonna make videos so you guys like every time I hear that I can just I just like imagine stallings are just right behind me. Yeah, it's always so fun. It's like uh, it is from an actual thing, like the actual duck and cover thing from Pizza thing, something like that. God, it was just beautiful. But I definitely knew damn well that I asked him probably do the entire thing. Think like that again, huh? So the ground is straight up just invisible. Oh, ground will work. Those are just like the doors from the outside perspective, I think. So it's always going to be really interesting. Oh! I am. No, I can't enter them. No, you could. But you can't. Oh, maybe that's. Oh, they teleport the doors away. That's how it works. They lock the door like that. Yeah, I don't have to deal with that. Yeah, I don't have to deal with that stuff, huh? Since I can't really find the other seat, because I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna whoop that out. I'm just gonna whip out that video again. I'm 
still curious on who the hell, like, that creature is, so. It's like, why? It's, they seem connected in some kind of way. Especially with the entire thing speaking out of code. Seems weird. I can see him eat the lock in some kind of way. Was he in uh, the Fox Wolf? Fox Play, I mean. I'm totally still in the video. Down. Those by many names. What is intelligent interface? This looks like the husk video, actually. That was close, said Frank silently to his dead companion. No, I can't really tell what exactly is it from the demo or from the original. Intriguing me though, like on the actual can itself, it says like this is a just a demo, which is fine to me. Oh, you know. Yeah, that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that plays whenever you got the bad ending in 1997 or something. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Nope. I'm always curious, I don't know exactly the vandal is. He's like, I'm not sure it's Roman Allen. And my theory is that Husk may be the thing that's like intelligent or violent since it seems so uh, close to the other thing. Hold on, let me find that little video again. Or to the See, this is the thing I'm talking about right here. Yeah, yeah see, it has trees in the background. It's edited in a very similar type of way. Looks like that. In this video right here, see it looks very similar to the actual thing. So clean up this meant to be. Burnt husk. E, this one. 
So, hmm. so either husk is like a husk is a creature that exists in our world. A cave knows a lot more than many of elves. Suck it in. Hundreds and hundreds of polygons. All working together to create the illusion. The real and the feeling of the world. I built it all of this. I'm an artist, right? I built this. My mouse is like a brush. Keep boys on canvas. I'm so grateful. I can just hint I can just smell that pride of the bastard. You just you smell it. You just it's an ego right there. Oh, that explains why exactly these big old towers are. So I suppose in a way Chief Wolf is meant to be Connor, or at least a reference Connor, in a way. I'm not sure about the entire soul thing, because, you know, if they are a ghost, I'm pretty sure since it seems like Chief Wolf and Stumbler were never really much put inside of the area. Like, may yeah, I don't know. Because, like, if it is ghosts, it might have been, like, the ghosts of only the victims of Brandon. And well, you know, stuff inside of there. Yeah, maybe. I wonder what exactly what the community actually thinks. I think I've seen him too. Let me actually book up his actual post. Hold on. He even says he can get emails. I'm thinking either A, he's a sentient creature type of thing. That's a little can of worms. Or B, that's Patrick doing some really good acting. I can't even tell which one. Hold on, let me just open. Yeah, I know, right? It maybe. Really... 
there because like stumbler is based off of Mark's amputated wife, right? Was a Connor like a Connor was the creator of the game that made a little like like a horrible joke towards Mark's amputated wife, right? I mean, it's horrible. So it does seem like, in a weird way, Stumble in that one video was trying to comfort him in some kind of like way. Actually trying to get Mark to just let it all go, like a little pain, I guess. So maybe, maybe the wife died at one point and it's just in this game, I guess. I assume it's a ghost. Or maybe it's just, or maybe she's still alive and just operating somehow like this. I don't really know. I can't really tell if it's actually alive or ghost or what have you. It's really a possibility because like it seems like somehow some kind of way like paranormal stuff happened. Which I'm pretty sure the toy I'm trying to swear actually stuff is in right. I can't I think it's a baby and not actually stuff the same one. I'm pretty sure the toy I'm telling us was stuffed. I don't know. Or the public probably like fucked over their systems. Either way. Seeing that like factor that number says towards the entire like Fuck his team, he would never want to see them again. It won't cut from the same mold, but different. Is it gonna so brand new? That was what I was just at. Not too much lower here, but I think the interesting thing is that, like, like I said before, and somebody is talking about how, like, they are cut from the different. Thing. They're very much different from the rest of them. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. So my main guess is that either... My main guess is that, like, the rest of them did die in that, like, soul ghost thing, or whatever the fuck, are inside these code in some kind of weird type of way. But Stumbler, JD, and Wolf are just... Either A sentient beings or B 
be just pretty good actors. Who are just faking out all this. Some kind of way. In the original people, like the wife, Connor, stuff like that, never died. Well, at least Connor did die, but never the Prince and the thing, I guess. Hmm. It's a weird thing. It's clean of Yeah, it definitely does seem like he's Bucky has been reacting to what exactly he's been doing. I don't really think he's connected to branding some kind of way. I think little Bucky is just a separate entity entirely. I guess I'm the uh, Twitch streamer. I'm unsure if these creatures have any free will. It seems like Brandon's the most powerful of all of them, other than Rex. Because it seems like he's able to really fuck with the computer a lot. All right. I just like you ever see one of those like fake ads by like I don't know like, like anti-virus software ads. Imagine that shit. I'm I'm quite intrigued by this theory. But that would mean that the cartoons themselves are conscious. But I still think my theory on that these are things from that the Starling stuff like that are from the real world souls of the little victims. And that Stumbler Wolf and stuff like that are just AI in kind of way.
since I'm pretty sure it wasn't Bullet. Wasn't Bullet meant to be like the creator's type of way to bring back the old founders, founder from the death, I think. I think I've read that somewhere. This doesn't really speak house code. Yeah, maybe Vandal is just one of those creatures. Just me, I think I agree with Basil Basil Blend here. It might be revenge and just something very much confused. Either A, it's revenge, or B, it's just them. Something really puppeteering them into fighting something and just being over enough bold enough not to kill you, but you know, still attack you. That's my main guess. Yes, okay. Your situation. I think we would have wanted to hide stuff like that. Why hide itself? Why? It just seems weird. Not really, no. Yeah, it's very small.
Where's that pay you from? I find out what the website is from. Have heard, Bowerly Dev here at Cogworth. Hello everyone. As you may have heard, Bowerly Dev. Hello everyone. As you may have heard, Bowerly Deaf here at Cogworth, Connor Thomas, has taken his own life. This was a major shock to all of us. So it's clear to talk about Connor's death. I have. If you do as I am. Maybe if it's like fine religion, maybe that's the issue. What do you say, Jim? Let's give it a go. Sounds like statistic. Has seems statistic to me. Hold on, let me, let me whip up the other thing. That's not what I meant. No way you do. I kind of affected my funny bone. This with you, it's clunky. I don't know what I'm doing. The characters who you promised would have depth and life, they are just flat. I thought that's the entire point of a 3D game. What? You oversold it, Connor. That's what I'm trying to say. The company is meant to be forging new frontiers. And to be frank, after what happened at Studio Grounds, I really don't think this is going to be anything. Hmm. It's not going to be anything in the same tiers, our movies, our parks, anything. And I really hate to say this, because I know for a fact you and your team put a lot of work into this game, but I just, I just don't know if it's worth continuing to sink money into. Sink money into? Mark, if this is our job, you've had us working on this for two years, and now suddenly it's an issue? to prove to me that you want what I have. Maybe I mentioned the voice actors actually. Because they do sound familiar. Uh, I'm seeing I have AMD page, I guess. Alright, this is...
I was the only one rotting down here. <laughs> so much you know. So much. It's all beyond your understanding. How much... I thought I was the only one rotting down here. The phrasing. Hmm. Side of my wooden shell. That's why they have the bodies in there. I hear their voice inside my wooden shell. Let's cast the bodies inside of them. That's gotta be it. Side of my wooden shell. That's gotta mean something. I'm more willing to bet that's where they hit the bodies. Or at least the souls would manage to claim continue to cling on to this thing for some reason. Welcome yeah. to the final boss of Shipwreck 64. In order to see what the game has kept buried, hidden from the public eye, So if so, if this theory is true, and that Mark, not Mark, but if Husk and Vandal are just two separate soul, two separate amalgamations that used to be one, to be four people.
Yeah, it's the. Uh, yeah, it's just here. Let me just. Yeah, it's just. There we go. That's easier. There we go. Okay, so it definitely does seem like so it definitely seems like Husk is just the two entities and JD is just the Vandal put inside the game. I think that might be why there's so if JD did kill Mark, that would explain why Rex is down there or somewhere because he also became part of the amalgamation of just insanity. Cute. So it will explain a lot though. So a clean flow it was JD who basing a flow showed off where the person was or Mark was and it seems like you might have killed him. And that would explain Rex. Yeah, that's funny to me. There's an old Fazbear. That's his new name now. Not better anymore. There's an old Fazbear. Oh, that's going to cut some light. Quickly. Yeah, so, take these off. Yeah, it's a yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a bit of a thick read, I guess. Oh, I think personally, though. Oh, that must be fun. I think they did husk say or I can hear all four of them. Weird. Assuming the entire thing about Husk and Sully that are and J D are right. And Vandal and Husk are both the same entity split into two. Be possible that is that like if it's possible that husk is just yeah no it definitely does seem like all of them is confused 
Bucky for somebody. I can't really tell if they are actually sentient and just really hate you and just confuse you for someone else. Or something else is making them far more violent or something like that. Like, a, like their thoughts are all fucked up now. And they don't really know right from wrong anymore and just, just going forward and attacking anything they can. A vicious animal. And to me, Rex and sl Slash Plot are the same. And that is just trying to also just attack you. It could be possible. So it seems like the starlings or the ghosts or whatever the fuck they are have just like, they're some of sentient and they think that you are the person who's killed them. It also brings up the question whether or not Brandon is completely in control of himself or not. Or if his death just meant that he's just lost all free will. I'm not sure how much of a massive murderer he was, or how much of his death would cause him to go completely mad. That's a question there. I am curious about that. I have yet to see the puppets, actually. Maybe we should look that up, actually. Ironically enough, I was actually able to actually not get the pop ups. Is yeah, but whatever. I left that up right there, but that's cute. Excuse me. Probably will find it really. Oh, wait. You think you? All right, the pineapple, please. If I was like, with mass deleting the entire files, I would do react shit from. Or would it just be like, yeah. Would it just be literally the equivalent and just like mildly stabbing someone? Props. Files. Browse them. There we go. Oh yeah, um, well, in case we have any luck with the game files, if, if though it's not an entire situation, we trying to rip it out of there, I guess. We can just do this. You know, actually, this shit it would be fucking easier actually instead of me trying to go for the YouTube videos. I could just went to the files, shouldn't I? I could just go for the files and just grab that. Damn it. Yeah, that's good. Look at you, because I'm clever. Yeah, they always say. 
Me then. Get it all. All just nothing. Other than just whipping it out. This is a weird experience right there. Why do they have an entire publisher called Cogware Games? Don't you think that maybe someday in the future they'll make some kind of like more of this? Like, like maybe the sequel that'd be cool. I would like to see more of this. Cool. Here, like that there. Ah, so cool. I I just love that the fact. I just love the inspector breaks the fourth wall so damn good. Just like instead of just going out like, ooh, man, break the fourth wall. It's much more like like, hello, I can see you. I know you're there. Kind of, kind of thing. That really cool mechanic. It makes so long. Yeah, it makes so long. We're good. We're good. That was the different tabs I've opened. I don't see if there's any more things there. Maybe it doesn't seem like it. So from what I've seen, it's basically enough that Cogwork Games was hired by Broad, hard style, Broadside. They all got to work, and Mark came in, but Mark's like, daughter died at some point. Point. And then Mark. Mark and Connor basically spoke together. Mark basically said, No, no more of this game, no. Connor, like, really fucking angry at him for it. I'm pretty sure before they got fired, Connor made a little joke about his, about Mark's wife having no arms. Just like that. Okay, someone like that. Some blurry games and be a boy or a girl. Because if it's meant to be a girl, then it's lesbian. Oh, it's meant to be a boy, then it's. Uh, to be Stumbler and. Mark's wife, maybe just different creatures entirely. I don't know. Since JD, not JD, but Subway never really enough turns out to be a you know, Starling. I think the main point of Starlings are just things that have died and become amalgamations, I guess. Yeah, then after in Cancel, it seems like Brandon overdosed, died. And came back to life in his little suit. Whether well, or not this like this made him something go mad or made him just really being confused and started just attacking people. I, I kind of sort of think I remember seeing a little thing in one of those posts that like the main reason why Brandon saw attacking people was because I don't know, it was kind of like Bucky consciousness kicked in. And that he didn't really like whenever Gary and the others were wearing his friends as suits, so he decided to kill him just for like vengeance against that, I guess. Without assuming that Brandon was taken over by some kind of like like consciousness of Bucky, I guess. I can see that. 
in that then broadside fingers get found the bodies. They went like uh oh, shit, they then they hid the body somewhere. The bodies basically turned to a mass. Yeah, at some point the body split hit apart. Husk did what the fuck it did. I guess it's just hit in the park, I guess. But Vandal basically became they that basically was hunting down Mark for a while now and basically trying to make sure his ass was just completely destroyed. Then it seems like, like, you know, like the vandal was. <coughs> seems like the vandal was successful at killing Mark, since Mark is found within the game itself. Tell me, possible that Mark did become a part of the nation or probably exist himself. I mean, will not Stumbler is a free will entity or not? To me, I think Stumbler and the wife are two completely separate entities itself. And that Stumbler is a... I'm pretty sure Mark was the blot since... I think, anyway. Well... And one thing about the Chief Wolf himself is meant to be like a reference to like Thomas Connor. And since I'm pretty sure he died away from since since Thomas Connor basically died away from the entire area, he never even got thrown into the situation. Since Mark was oh Rex. But since Mark was basically killed and Rex was the not the final the oh, Rex. Oh, Rex was the person. Got it. Oops. I guess, yeah, Rex was the person. Oh, so basically, after Rex was. Hey, come here. Come here. Here we go. I'm still can. But again, the fandom isn't really most trustfully placed, so. I don't really trust fandom since it's a bit iffy. Just, mm. But if. But if. The Starlink project was an actual thing within the game itself, and not some from the previous thing. You can probably look that up. Yeah. It's just like infinite number of things. Probably needs to. Yeah, I'm unsure about how true all this is. 
I'm assuming that Sauron project is true. It does seem like Re seem like they were trying to bring Rex back to life. In case that would explain why he's so mad at the Colonel. Why he's so powerful since, you know, he is. They should have been forced out the grave. It's just a horrible thing. Good luck. I don't know. It's like a. Dude's been like dead for like a fucking couple of years, actually. I don't really think he's gonna do much of that. Like, what's up, Rex? Rex, can you help us? He's like, fuck is a computer. I don't know. He was all like, like, no, I can't help you out. It's like, computer. So clean up though. Why exactly would it's like hella confused why exactly the Wendigo and the Fool Fall connected in some kind of way? They seem interlocked. Oh, that's sad. Okay, so one thing I really have to recommend is that from what I've seen, and that's very little, hold on. Uh, there we go. That I would probably would probably highly recommend this video right here. Because it seems like it has the most amount of like collective thing, and it looks really cool. 
Yeah, I'd probably have to watch that video. I've only watched clips of it. But I just really have some kind of weird sympathy for Mark. It's like that thing where I'm like, I'm like, I don't have sympathy for Connor at all. I understand where Mark is coming from here. I understand that he's like a bit of a monster here for. I think he may be trying the selling project, I guess. Maybe just awesome before him. But like Mark, did, not Mark, but like Connor seemed like an egotistical type of person. A person who saw himself as an artist. And not like a fun little type of way, much of a better than you type of way. I don't know, maybe that's me. Maybe I'm just trying to see this in a. Shattered puzzle. But maybe the man we're we playing is Mark. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's why they attack us because they actively hate us for it. Yeah. But maybe that's it. Maybe that's why. Maybe it. Maybe they don't think we're Brandon, maybe they think they're wrong. Maybe they know or think we're Mark. Maybe they know the difference between Brandon and Mark and they just think that we're Mark. And so I didn't raise, look at the mess you've made. Because basically, us crazy was saying, Mark, look at the horrible things you've done. Look at the monster you've created. Oh, puzzle pieces I really need to put together here, but like, really fine I shouldn't have. I'm not sure if I would actually want them to expand on this more, or if I would want them to, like, do a different universe entirely. But like, if I did, but if we were able to get like a, not much of a sequel, maybe like, you know, something in the same universe. Something like, like that, that'd be cool. But like, maybe it might be best to like, keep this like, only one story, maybe. But maybe I'm just not making the entire, seeing the entire picture here, but I just have an infinite number of, I find more sympathy for Mark than Connor. I think that might be because I'm, I haven't really seen the entire picture yet. And assuming if he did create a selling project to create immortality for some weird reason, I don't know if that was broadside or, or Mark, or hell, it might have not been anybody, and that's actually a false fact. Then, then if it was brought side, probably been an example of them trying to bring back Rex. I'm pretty sure it might have been just trying to bring back Rex. They could. I truly believe that brought side seem to be the absolute monsters of like self. Yeah, probably not, but probably see it in quite a while. Uh, but... <clears throat> yeah. Personally, though, I would punch Connor in the face. To be honest with you, I yeah, assume the Starlings do exist in the weird world, or at least something like them, since it seems like Vandal and Husk seems to exist in the real world. Now we best burn them.
Oh, I just want my hug, like, I just really want to hug Stumbler. Yeah, probably need to watch that little video in order to get a full picture of the entire thing, but I think I got a pretty good idea of it. I'm just unsure if it's like a fucking... I'm just unsure if Mark was a full-on villain, or if he was just like a tragic type of dude. And someone else created a selling project in order to bring back Rex. To me, this fucking car is some just petty. Because I kind of just see. Really I expect the office. To Yeah, clean up to five people dead. Why is that? Here's the six. Hmm. Weird. But yeah, it's a. Really cool thing. I really want to see more of this universe and see more of this entire thing. And see where the Starlings go or something like that. But if they don't really take... If they don't really... If the creator makes something else outside of this universe, I'll be okay with that since... I think it would still be like a good experience. I'm curious how likely they'll make in the future. Like a... This has been a creative game. It has been an ARG game right here. I really want to see more of this stuff. stuff. I want to see more games really take that advantage of the entire thing. Because it feels like indie developers truly know how to make me be afraid. Because like, like companies stuff like that, they do a great job sometimes. sometimes. But like, it seems like indie developers know how to get that niche. It seems like companies take that wide approach, which doesn't make sense to have a budget. But it seems like any developers really get that huge niche. Really take it somewhere. What a difference. I am curious on what exactly the creator is going to do with all this stuff. stuff. And I am quite excited for that. else is there to talk about, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we discussed everything that could be there. Although mysteries are still there about how, like, how, like, the Wendigo connects to all this and stuff like that. And if Husk is just a separate entity from, from the same blob, I guess. If Huska and JD are the same entities split apart. I really don't know. It's fun. So anyway, tomorrow will be some Dead by Daylight, hopefully. We'll see how all that will work. It's you know, the usual time, blah, blah, blah. I think maybe I can try, find, sorry, try to find some kind of way to accept the little thing. Maybe I send you the code, hopefully. I don't know. We shall see. Hopefully that doesn't really work out in some reason. And if that doesn't really work out, I'll just play bots. Yeah. And I think that's what FNAF is basically nowadays is that to nah, actually no way. Actually no, I think that might be a lot like too that's a better thing. 
So Alan Wake 2 is I'm like, I understand the main idea of it, but it's more because I don't like it. I always like the other one. Yeah. Then next weekend I'll be gone and I'll hopefully upload that little video I've been planning on. Small one, a little meeting of the offices. Main plan. Yeah, next weekend. Yeah. Next week and next weekend will be I'll be gone. And then the weekend after that, I'll be back. Where's I go play on that weekend? I don't really know. There's a lot of games I really want to play. Oh, Captain. So anyway, that's been fun. Hope you all had a fantastic day. Y'all have fun today. I'm going to get drink water. For some reason, my body takes about 50 percent more water than anyone else. Not much of a, not much of a vacay. Much more of a just a. I want to see my mom since I usually have to see her sometimes. I guess I just want to visit her. I guess that's the person I love her. It's much more of a that since it's much more of a day off on layer it's like much more easy and weekend i have much of a chance to see her again i'd say i don't ever really want to see her i see her a lot all the time i just want to see her a good amount of time feel me you feel me yeah pretty sure. But I will probably be working on other stuff like hoping for these scripts and stuff like that for the August videos. And yeah. A lot of stuff planned for August. Yeah. So y'all uh hoping up tomorrow for a day but day late and well next weekend for a little video. Bye.